Hi, and welcome to my channel. Um, today, I didn't even think about making a video beforehand while I was doing my hair, but I am starting to do the curly hair method, the curly grow method to my hair, and it's been looking really good. Uh, today, um, what I'm having a hard time with is I had bleached my hair like this one section right here, and I'm trying to get that back as healthy as possible. I keep trimming a little off at a time each time I do my hair, but it's getting kind of short. So I'm just gonna let it dry. I'm letting it air dry right now. I did all the steps. I co-washed it today because I washed it yesterday and I pulled it up in a rubber band and I know that's the worst thing that we should do us curly haired girls is to put it up and with a regular rubber band like this. That is my one downfall, my biggest mistake, but it gets in my face, it bothers me, so I always pull it back. Um, I do have bangs, some of my bangs are really short and when it dries curly, I can't really do anything with it and it sticks out in weird ways, so I always just take a clip and I clip it back. But the first thing I did is, like I said, I co-washed my hair, I um, wet it down and then I put the conditioner in there and as I was rinsing it out, I was scrunching it up. I didn't get all the conditioner out and because I wanted to leave a little bit of conditioner in there because my hair needs a lot of moisture right now because it has been so dried. After I rinsed, when I rinsed it out, I rinsed it out with cold water, cool between cool and cold water. And then when my hair was soaking wet, I will show you all the products that I used. Actually, when I co-washed my hair, you guys, I had used this Aussie Moist with the avocado oil conditioner. I had used that to co-wash my hair. And then the first thing I did when I got done with my hair, I put a little bit of this in just to give it more moisture, you guys, because the simple fact is my hair, like I said, is really dry. This, I love this product. I have been using this the past couple weeks. I love this. And it's the Garnet Fruity. It's the Smoothing Defining. It's for fine and normal hair. I have thick hair, curly hair, but it really, really works. It's thick and it says to use sparingly, but I tend to use a little more than just sparingly. And then after I'm done with that, and scrunching it in. I scrunched some Tresemme mousse in, not a lot, but enough to coat my curls. Today I did something a little different. I'm gonna see how it works, is I put 100% aloe vera gel. I put maybe not even a teaspoon of it in my hand, I and then I scrunched it up into my hair after my hair was dried. You guys, I plop dried my hair with a t-shirt. Never use a towel when you have curly hair because it will frizz your hair. I don't even think anybody should use a towel while they're drying their hair. And I plop dried it and I plop dried it with just a t-shirt. And I had that in my hair for about a half hour. And as you can see, you guys, my hair is really wet. But you can see all the curls. I have really curly hair underneath. They're like spirals. I mean, I'm talking like just twisty spirals that they stick together. And I think the reason being is because I do have African-American blood in me down the line from my mom's side of the family. And I think that's where I get my natural curly hair from. But you guys, I'm going to just, I'm going to keep scrunching it like this as it's drying. Because I want, but I don't want to touch it too much because then my hair is going to get frizzy. And I don't have a diffuser, so I'm going to blow it dry, and then I will be back on here to show you what it looks like. Maybe I'll come on in about 20 minutes and show you how defined it looks. So this is my hair about an hour after I let it dry. It's still real wet. My hair takes a long time to dry if I let it air dry. I would always take the blow dryer to it. But I noticed when I don't use the blow dryer, my curls feel and seem more full and more lustrous. So you guys, I'm going to let my hair dry a little more. But these, I don't know if you can tell, but my curls, they are getting curl. Underneath here, 
down on the bottom, like I said, I get these really tight curly cues. So, and I can feel them. It's so funny I can feel them. And I have, <laughs> you guys, like I said, these are my bangs. And I don't know what to do with them. I'll have to figure it out after it dries. But I'm, a lot of people put clips up here for um the volume. I don't really have those kind of clips. What I have are these clips. But I'm afraid these clips are going to make it look too weird these little tiny clips right here I might put one or two in but that's it and then what I want to do is I always because I don't have a diffuser you guys I need a diffuser yes but I would never use a diffuser because I would never wear my hair curly I always blew it dry I flat ironed it I don't want to put any more damage to my hair anymore I want to let it go natural like this right in here you guys where I had colored it it's so dry I keep cutting just like I said, I think I said mentioned early in the video that I keep cutting just a little tiny bit off on the ends, but I think I'm just going to let it go. You guys, after I got off with you, I put um, four drops of vitamin E oil in my hands and I mixed, you know, it really well. And then I scrunched right in here where the dry part is. Hopefully the oil will make it look a little better once it's dry. And right in here, you guys see how that looks all, um, it looks not fried, but it looks like it's, um, it just wants to do whatever it wants to do. It looks frizzy. But I was told that just to leave it alone and it'll eventually go into the curl. If not, I'll try to figure that out later on. But when I do blow dry my hair, I, I don't have anything to put my camera on in the bathroom. So what I usually do is I tip my hair forward. And I take the blow dryer and I put it on the cool setting, low cool, and I put it really close to my scalp and then I lay it there for about five, six, maybe ten seconds depending. And just to give it the volume. And when I'm done, you guys, I'm not going to come back on here again, but until I'm done. And then I'll show you what my hair looks like when it is finished. Well, it's almost 20 minutes later and... I had to blow it dry some because my hair was so wet and I just heard from my girlfriend and she wants to meet me she has some stuff to give me so you guys here's like I'm I'm not happy with myself right now you know my first curly girl method video that I do in my own hair and I can't even do it right because I have to go meet her and it's the only time I can meet her because she's got to work tomorrow but this piece right here <laughs> this just does what it wants but you guys see look at all of the curls they're all defined every single curl but they're still a little damp and I'm not gonna mess with them until right before I leave so I will come back on here after it's done I don't think it's gonna turn out the way I wanted because I had to blow it dry sorry that was the timer for the chicken for my doggies um, but anyways, I think this is a failed attempt, you guys, because nothing is going right. <laughs> this looks really dry. My hair looks really stringy. So I think this is a failed attempt, but I'm going to try to make it look the best that I can before I leave here. I got maybe 10 more minutes and then I got to get going. But as you can see, you know, this piece right here, it's fried, so it didn't curl up as well. Even though I put the vitamin E oil in there, maybe it looks better than it's going to, you know, had looked yesterday. But we will see. So I'm going to figure something to do with these tight curly bangs. I maybe have to pull them back, you guys, because I, I don't like this. I mean, I don't want to put any more product in my hair and make it look greasy or sticky or white. So I don't know. Maybe I should do this another day where I know I'm going to have more time to do it. So I'm scrunching my hair, you guys, and it is actually looking better. But this right here, the, yeah. We got some frizz going on here, but hopefully I can fix that with some of the tips and tricks that I have seen on YouTube. But I'm just scrunching it up toward my head. This side's not going to look as good, you guys, because the hair is fried. Yeah, this purple is gone. I'm going back to my natural dark. I don't know why I did that to begin with, but it was summer, and I thought... I would do something different, you guys. But I'm going to scrunch this side again and 
See how curly that is? I, like I said, you guys, I have curly cues in the back underneath, but my hair is, it's pretty dry, you guys. It's really pretty dry. I want to take these bangs and I want to kind of scrunch them this way. I don't know which way my hair is wanting to go. Oh yeah. <laughs> Do the old flip. I mean, it really doesn't look that bad, you guys, but just that piece of fur that's going on here, that, that might be the dry hair that it's flipped over in my bangs. I think I'm just gonna take my bangs and put a hair clip in there and then let's just go. Because I need to get back here and get some stuff done. So if you guys enjoyed this video, would you please give it a thumbs up? And if you would like this video, if you didn't like it, hit the thumbs down. And if you would please subscribe, hit that subscribe button. And then there's that little bell next to the subscribe button that you tap on. And you can see all the videos that I make in the future on my hair or whatever else I may do. Thank you guys. Thank you for watching. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.